what benefit, Abraham, do you have to come through us to our physical universe? What benefit is it to you from beyond, from the source, from... Because we are, like you say, we came into this world with all our intentions and our beliefs and all our, what Not we believe all of is them. true. You came with some, but with some you came with the full intent of discovering others. You intended this to be a ground of discovery of your own evolution. And not because it needed to be done, but because it's fun. True. It is very fun. Because it's fun to do. Because it's fun to discover something. Don't you know that fresh feeling of desire? That feeling of waking up and really wanting to do something and if that desire of wanting to do it is coupled with a belief that you can oh that's life-giving that's how you felt when you decided to come and when you came that's how you're supposed to feel all the time so ask your question again what benefit is it to you Abraham to come into our existence our physical existence here on this earth well with, this, with humans how satisfying it is for us how exhilarating it is for us to see you discover contrast and to watch you discover your personal approach to improvement and then we get to feel the launching of that rocket and then we get to focus on it it gets to be our reality long before it is yours so we get to revel in the new expansion of the universe that you have provided just like we're doing right now with the questions that you're asking so here's this new fresh desire the universe has expanded and we're reveling in it and then we get to stand there because we're disciplined and practiced holding the vibrational frequency of that rooting for you to find your place within it too and when you miss we don't care <laughs> but when you find it we revel with you and you feel the goosebumps some of you are getting them right now aren't you you feel the goosebumps rippling through you as you come into full alignment not just with what you have wanted but with who you really are and with us so there's nothing that you can expand to that isn't our experience as well so how is it that we're all in this together you said I'll go into the contrast where there's more discovery and we said and we'll stay in the pure alignment where there's more steady and together we will take thought beyond that which it has been before so you launch it we ride the rocket with you we hold the frequency of it we give our undivided attention to what you want we hold it so steady that if you deviate and you are aware at all you feel your own deviation so you can tell what source feels even though society may be saying something entirely different or your parents may be saying something different or your peers may be saying something different or even your laws and rules may be saying something different you can feel when you find that alignment and when you find that alignment oh it's an alignment of well-being you have universal forces assisting you opening doors for you inspiring you watching out for you giving you impulses in other words when you get tuned in you live this charmed life that everyone wants to live but it's not charmed in the sense that others aren't it's charmed in the sense that you get to be joyful all of the time feeling your empowerment and your clarity Esther cannot find enough words to express the feeling of exhilaration that we feel as you are in this constant eternal motion forward to get it done no for the experience of moving in it because we never get it done and you can't get it wrong and we never get it done and you can't get it wrong and you never get it done and you can't get it wrong and we never get it done and we can't get it wrong and we never get it done and we can't get it wrong we never get it done we never get it done we never get it done contrast keeps presenting itself and new desires does that make you tired if it makes you tired then you're in resistance if it makes you feel tired then you're still of the mindset that you got to solve these problems and get that out of the way but once you catch the spirit of this and you start riding the wave of this powerful energy then you stand in a moment in time looking around your world seeing the perfection of it in part because it is pretty perfect around you but mostly because you're tuned to the perfection and that's what you see and that's what you see and that's what you feel in other words you are those who love loving is your most natural state of being and when for any reason for any length of time you are in a state of something less than love you are diminished from who you are and we know you want to explain Esther says too but Abraham apparently you need more information about that person that person is really hard to love 
but there is nothing that you could say or focus upon or live that would cause us to deviate from our true knowing of who they are you see and that is a really nice way to be a nice way to be so why do humans create sexual disease well everything that is labeled as disease is about resistance and resistance is always about not aligning with who you really are and what you're really wanting but you have to understand that even in what you're calling disease none of you came into these physical bodies intending to be here forevermore all of you came as a sort of experience of delightful engagement but none of you intended to stay you want to regroup you want to rejoin your vortex you want to be born again you want to come with a sort of clearing of vibration and so there are a lot of things that even after you listen to us you want to call that resistance that's resistance that didn't have to be there sometimes that is the path of least resistance so gotcha. don't try too hard to figure out why everybody else or mass consciousness is doing anything just take the platform of what you're observing and from it choose what you prefer and as best as you can give your undivided attention to your preferences and watch the empowerment that flows through you and in time you will find yourself really not interested in exploring those subjects that are so insignificant in nature and what we mean by that is insignificant in that they're much more step one than they are step three there's much more about what's wrong than there is about what's wanted and soon your teeter-totter will tip on the fulcrum and you will find yourself feeling impassioned with big thoughts with big things with big power and the pettiness of caring about what anybody else is or isn't doing with it will just leave you we've been saying to you just mind your own business mind your own business and your own business is the business between where you are vibrationally on a subject and what's in your vortex that's your business and when you start minding your own business oh the empowerment comes but even more than that or as well as that is the joy of being here the joy of being able to be the interpreter of all of this creative energy think about it your earth is spinning in perfect proximity with other planets do you think that's accidental or do you think that's consciousness focused and when you begin to focus upon the things that are important to you in this time space reality and we want to say to you these questions that you are asking are important questions we're not trying to head you off from any of these questions these social issues these things that matter to you these are important questions it's why you light it up it's why we want to have this conversation we just want you to line up with what's in your vortex about them more rather than pushing against what's in mankind about them more stop facing reality and start going more with the flow with what you can feel is right and that's why some people come with an orientation that is a different sexual orientation than others and they cannot deny it isn't it nice that you came with something undeniable something that you cannot deny even though almost everybody would like to line you up and get you to deny it in some way not anymore but it wasn't long ago that most people wanted to line up and get somebody to change their mind about something that they were not ever 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 going to change their mind about but well, we want you to feel that way about everything that is important to you don't let the naysayers influence your vibration don't let those who don't know anything about what's in your vortex or who you are or about how you flow or about the process that you work or about how you feel or about who you were or about why you're here about what extension of source energy you are don't let those who don't know who you are try to dictate to you how you should feel or how you should be or how you should live you all came to live together and you are not all the same have you noticed and don't you think that if it were important that you be the same that you would be and don't you think that it is noteworthy that you're not the same don't you think that that diversity is your greatest power the differences in you is the most important factor of this time space reality because out of those differences are born new ideas while out of sameness nothing new is born you see